<laughs> Hello. Let's, uh, let's actually start this off with a show of hands. Uh, put your hands up in the air if you have a daughter under the age of 19. Hold your hands high. All right, parents here with daughters under the age of 19. And keep those hands in the air if you are actively working to get them a motorcycle. <laughs> Hold them high so I can see them. All right, well, my name is Henry, and uh, I've been riding and teaching people to ride motorcycles half my life. And this is my friend Sarah. Sarah's mom called me. She was desperate because Sarah was 15 and wanted to get a motorcycle. And Sarah's mom wanted me to talk her out of it. Um, now, I came up with a lot of reasons why a motorcycle is not the most practical vehicle in the world for Sarah. Um, but as much as I thought about it, I actually came up with more reasons why a motorcycle was a way better choice than a car, much to her mom's dismay. All right. So I see a lot of uh, not my daughter faces out there already. So <laughs> it, this is early on in the presentation. So just keep in mind, I still have four more minutes to convince you that getting your teenage daughter a motorcycle is absolutely the most responsible thing that you can do. All right. So when I was a kid, my mom uh, taught me that motorcycles were dangerous. Okay. So, but just because, sort of think of it like a new technology, just because you didn't grow up with it, um, you know, it, it's something new. Okay, uh, it's sort of changed over time. Okay, um, and also maybe you're working on uh, bad information. So, for example, in today's distracted driver world, um, riders uh, under the 18, under the age of 18, on motorcycles in a recent year, zero fatalities. In cars, 17. All right. So and now a motorcycle also has a lot of practical things. It solves a lot of teenager issues, like if your daughter spends way too much time preparing her hair in the morning before school. So if she rides a motorcycle, she'll start wearing a helmet, all right? So this leads me to my top five reasons why you really should buy your teenage daughter a motorcycle, okay? Now, number five here. So for those of you that say that a car is, is more practical for your daughter, my question is more practical for what, okay? Number four, this young woman is riding a Kawasaki Ninja 300. It has anti-lock brakes. It gets 65 miles to the gallon, has inexpensive liability insurance. This is the coolest all right, most dependable vehicle that your daughter could actually afford. Number three, we all know that when uh, a teenage driver has a passenger in the car, they are twice as likely to get into an accident. Add more passengers, and you are putting your daughter into one of the most dangerous situations that she's going to encounter. All right, a motorcycle solves this. All right, um, plus all of the other. Uh, parents will forbid their kids from getting rides with your daughter on the motorcycle. So this is a win-win situation for you as a parent, right? It's another reason why it's super important to get a motorcycle with a no back seat, right? A motorcycle also does a great job of actually instilling in your daughter the importance, all right, of a moving vehicle and being in control of that, right? A, a motorcycle at slow speeds takes way more effort to control than a car. Right? And a motorcycle at high speeds uh, will teach her to look further ahead. Uh, number two, your daughter starts riding a motorcycle to school, and it takes maybe one week before the entire school knows her name. Right? <laughs> name me one other thing that you can do that guarantees that your daughter is the coolest kid at school. My number one, there's no cell phone use when you're riding a motorcycle. There's no sending or receiving of, receiving of text messages. Plus, when you're wearing a helmet and leather gloves, all right, there's no eating, drinking, or putting makeup on. All right? This is a win-win. Okay, so important here. I can see you thinking, hey, Henry, uh, I think we might be into this. Like, how can we move this forward? Uh, and just a little reminder here, if you have a son, don't mention this to them at all. Okay, this is, this is for girls only. Okay, you don't want to get desperate and offer it off to him. Okay. Truth is, is that we need our daughters to ride motorcycles. You never know. She might actually be, have been put on this earth to ride a motorcycle, okay? And worst case scenario, if she hates it, she'll be a lot less picky about her next car, right? So any vehicle with a heater and she'll be happy. So next steps. First off, as a family, start listening to the Macklemore song, Downtown, over and over. It'll get all of you talking about riding mopeds and motorcycles, all right? And your kids will be excited to hear a song in your house besides Same Love. Next up, all right? Spend a day, take your daughter to every motorcycle shop in town, right? This is some quality mother-daughter time. Try on matching jackets and pants, post photos on Instagram so that your grandparents can weigh in on it, all right? Next up, as soon as your daughter has her learner's permit, sign her up for one of Oregon's motorcycle rider courses. These are three days. They provide motorcycles and helmets. Daughter can get their endorsement. Better yet, take the class with her, all right? So we all know all right, that strong 
little girls grow up to be amazing women, right? We want our daughters to be daring and extraordinary, right? So we don't know where she's going during the course of her life, but she could get there faster if you got her a motorcycle. Thank you. <laughs>